from the home of HM Sports, it's the HM Lawrence Report, and I'm Jack Dolgen for our sixth episode of the winter. Today we're showing four games. We've got boys basketball heading to double overtime versus Regis. That one's a thriller. Don't want to miss the end of that. We've got girls basketball as well. We've got the swimming team and the squash team, not the bug, the sport. So don't move a muscle. That's coming your way right about... And today we have the Horace Man girls basketball team taking on Friends Seminary. Brian Levy would control the opening tip and that would set the tone for the day. Here we see Jojo Levy miss a close three. However, Skyler Rosen would get the offensive putback, giving the Lions the early lead. Here we see a great pass up the court by Jen Reese and an amazing layup by Jayla, giving the Lions a further lead. However, Friends Seminary would not allow this to solely happen and they would fight right back, making a nice layup cutting the deficit to just three points. However, the Lions would not allow friends to take an even bigger cut at their deficit with an amazing steal by Jen Reese, and she would take it herself to the basket, giving the Lions a five-point lead. Here we see Skyler Rosen making an amazing jump shot over the contested defense, giving the Lions a nine-point lead. And then j at the beginning of the third quarter would extend their lead to 15 points. However, friends would fight back, and they would make the lead to just 21 to 9. However, Horace Mann would still be in the lead at this point. Yet, friends would still continue to fight back, and Horace Mann would not be able to put their deficit fully in reach until, with 48 seconds left, they'd make an amazing layup after the offensive rebound, giving them a 34 to 23 victory, improving their record on the seat. All right, we head back to the hardwood. It's Horace Mann boys basketball taking on Regis. Tip-off goes Regis' way, and they shoot for three, but no soup for you. That's an old joke from Seinfeld. This, an old joke from the Lions report. That's Kosta Bajevic on fire. Fireman putting it out, and now it's Mike Lennon to the hoop. That was one of ten assists for Ben Fox on the day, and now it's number Duncan. First shot doesn't go. Kosta, second chance. Yeah, it'll count. That's two of his 28 points on the day. He led the Lions with that category. But back comes Regis with the floater. On the other end, though, it's Horace Mann closing out the first quarter in style. Bam! That's Kosta Bajevic for three. Horace Mann here up by 17 points. Kosta, nothing but the bottom of the net. He puts it down. HM leading by 20. But back comes Regis going on a 14 to 1 run. Here, they get the third chance opportunity. Just like that, they're making it a ball game. In fact, Horace Mann on the other end. Not executing the way they'd like to, I'm sure. And now it's a two-point game. Make that a tie game because Regis ties it up right here. 5.06 left in the ball game. But back comes Horace Mann. Costa, fire! Bam! Gets it to go. Horace Mann up by two. One second left in regulation though, and it's Regis putting it in as time expires. This game is going to overtime. It's Thomas Schnepp here keeping the Lions in the game, but it was still tied after one overtime, and in two overtimes... Yeah, Regis is going to pull away. Lions lose 84-75. They're now 8-5 on the season. Here we have Horseman Varsity Squash hitting the courts, and this is Marcus Plenty. Marcus Plenty with a nice drop shot. He's got plenty of those in his repertoire. Yes, he does, Evan. Coming right back at you, this is Marcus Plenty with his cross-court shot. His opponent brings it right back, and he finishes him off with a nice little cross-court. Here we have Grant Ackerman. He will eventually win his point and eventually win the match as well. Yes, he does. And this is Billy Tidalbaum finishing it off. And Horseman wins 